Hey, this is Vivian, and I am the author of The Silent Christian, Its Impact on a Nation. And how is that silence shown? It's shown when our voices are not heard and our actions are not seen. Welcome back to The Silent Christian No More podcast. Today, I want to talk about the subject, Let Us Run. And this comes from Hebrews, the 12th chapter, and the first verse. And it says this, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. All of us have a race to run. And... It's time for us to get moving, to get started. But the first thing it tells us that we have a great, so great a cloud of witnesses. And some people say that these witnesses are the champions of faith, which is found in the previous chapter in Hebrews 11. But it also, I believe, includes other great women and men of God who have passed on to glory. Some people will call them our ancestors are there cheering us on and edging us on to get into the race, to start doing, start doing it or start being about it and not just talking about it. He said we are surrounded by a great cloud. So every time you look up in the sky and you see those clouds up there, there is a cloud of witnesses that are be, be um, up above us, like in a stadium. That's the way I like to imagine it. I'm in this stadium and I'm running this this race and I have all of these people. They're surrounding me. They're on every side. They're surrounding me saying, go Vivian, go, go Vivian, go. And, you know, my son used to play football and I'm the loud mouth one in the crew. And I asked him one day, I said, mom, I mean, I said, Mikey, can you hear me um, up in the stands? He's like, yes, mom, everybody hears you. I said, well, one thing I notice when I'm screaming in the crowd, y'all play better. So this great cloud of witnesses is there cheering us on so that we can run this race. And he tells us that, he then tells us that we need to lay aside the weight of sin that ensnares us. And sin can come in all different forms. You know, you get, you get confronted daily sometimes with that sin that is easily avoided, but we make a decision not to avoid it. You know, we might take that little pause and be like, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this, but we do it anyway. And then you got that um, admirable sin. You know, it looks good. You know, it sounds good. It smells good. But something down on the inside says to you, Everything that glitters is not gold. It's not good. It just looks that way. It's just a facade. And then you have those ensnaring sins like addictions, you know, whether it be addiction to a substance, addiction to a person, addic addiction to a thing. But whatever it is, you can't seem to let it go. And it almost becomes like entanglement and it, and it snares you and holds you back from fulfilling that plan that God has for your life. What we need today is the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit to help us to break those things that want to hold us back and keep us from moving forward to what God has called us to, to do. Psalms 46 and 1 tells us that God is, is our refuge and he's our strength and he is a present help in time of trouble. When we get in those those places of sin where we feel like we just can't get out, we can always call on the name of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Just call him. You know? Just call him up. He's always on the line. You know? You don't have to pay your cell phone bill to get in touch with him. All you got to do is send some knee mail. Get down on your knees and say a prayer unto God. Or just say a prayer unto God wherever you are. But he tells us, he says, let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Like I said before, we all have a race that we are um, destined to run. And that we're not running by ourselves. The scripture clearly states 
let us run. So I believe that great cloud of witnesses is running with you. The power of the Holy Spirit is running with you. God is running with you. Jesus is running with you. You are not running by yourself, okay? You're not in this thing by yourself. You have somebody there running with you. And he said, we need to run our race with endurance. That means we need to be determined to get through there. You see those sprinters on the field that jump over them little hurdles? Mm, never did that one. Um, I'd be on my face. But they're like obstacles in the way. They got to jump over them. And things in life come to you that way. Well, you got to jump over something or crawl through something or go around something. And sometimes you just got to bust that door wide open and go right straight through it. But you have to be determined and you have to be steadfast. And just because you hit that obstacle one time and it pushes you back, that doesn't mean you throw up your hands and you quit. You keep going because you can. Because you're not running by yourself. And God is a pleasant help, a present help in a time of trouble. Um, Ecclesiastes 9 and 11 tells us that the race is not given to the swift. You know, the fastest runner. We do that. We give medals to the fastest runners. But God tells us in his word that the race is not given to the swift. And he also tells us in Matthew 24 and 13, he says that that one that endures until the end, he will be saved. And another reminder that is in the word of God is in Matthew 20 and 16, which says, The first shall be last and the last shall be first. You know, just because you're the first one out the gate don't mean you're going to be the first one at the finish line. So, we all got a race to run. The next verse tells us that we need to keep our eyes on Jesus. He said, "Let us um, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He endured it. He didn't like the shame. He said, despising the shame and has sat down on the right hand of the of of God the Father. We got to keep our eyes on Jesus, not our eyes on what's going on around us, what Tom, Dick, or Harry is doing, or Sally, Sue, and Jane is doing. We need to keep our eyes on Jesus because all of those things going on around us are just distractions. And we cannot be distracted when we're in the midst of a race. So today I tell you, we all have a race that we have to run. It's already, God said, I know the plans that I have for you. He said, I know what they are, but you need to know what they are. But what I want you to take away from the video today is know that there is a great cloud of witnesses that are out there edging you on. They want the best for you, okay? You're not running in this race by yourself. Lay aside the weight of sin that, it, that ensnares you because all it's doing is just slowing you down. You caught up in something, just keep moving, keep pushing, keep trying. Don't give up. Don't give out. You can do this thing and run with endurance. Be determined. I'm determined no matter what, I'm getting through this thing. And last but not least, keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? The word of God is just awesome. But like I say in all my videos, I am a Christian coach. I am more than willing to sit down and talk with you. I have a session with you where um, we could talk about the things that you think may be holding you back from fulfilling the destiny that God has planned for you. I always leave my information in the um, right below the video. Um, but know this, you owe it to yourself. To live a victorious life. And the only victorious life I know of. That have benefits today. Tomorrow and forevermore. Are in Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to like. To share and to comment. And I mean. Tag somebody in the bottom of the video. Because we need. as We as Christians. We can't be silent. It's an oxymoron. We're supposed to let our voices be heard and let our actions be seen. Don't forget, make the commitment today to be a silent Christian no more. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.